straight bowl games, but won a national title in their last trip to Tempe. That would be Jonathan, Jonathan Smith, OSU quarterback. That'd be Jonathan Smith hitting Chad Johnson. And there's really nobody that can catch Chad Johnson. 74 yards for the touchdown. Two-point conversion fails. So put two sixes together, it's 12 nothing. But now let's watch again. Johnson, he's playing on one of those 98-yard fields because there's the goal line, and he drops the ball well before that, but the refs put both arms up in the air and gave him a TD. Third quarter, Irish down 12-3. Matt Lavecchio hit by Darnell Robinson, who recovers the fumble. He also had a pick in this game. Beavers looking to capitalize two plays later. Smith up top to T.J. Hushmanzada, 23 yards, 19-3 Beavers after the PAT, and look at Ken Simonson for the celebration. He had the right to remain silent. Yeah, he just frisks him. Third quarter, Irish punting. Joey Hillbold. And who's back there? T.J. Hushmanzada. Hushmanzada working his way through traffic. And then he fumbles it. Terrell Roberts, now he's got the ball. He's running for a touchdown. Two-point conversion good. Beavers take the lead, 27-3, but I think we should look this again. You'll see the same thing, only slower and with a large arrow to point out what happened. Hushmanzada down, and the ball kicked by the Irish defender right to Roberts, who takes off with it. Everybody in Missouri feels my pain. Still in the third, 34-3 Beavers. Ken Simonton, 19th TD of the year. He had 18 carries, 85 yards. And there is your final. 41-9, a blowout. Oregon State gets its first bowl win since beating Villanova 6-zip in the 62 Liberty Bowl. The Irish lose their fifth straight bowl contest, 32 points, the second worst bowl beating the Irish have ever taken. Stats worse than the score. OSU 446 total yards, ND 155. NT, that was Curtis Williams paralyzed October 28th. Huskies wearing his initials on their jerseys. First quarter, Marcus Tuiasosopo loses a shoe but gets the six. 14-0 Washington. Tuiasosopo rushed for 75 yards on 15 carries. Third quarter, Drew Brees right into the camera and into the arms of Vinny Sutherland. Watch the camera guy play. Tied at 17. Breeze 23 of 39, 275 yards, two touchdowns, both to Sutherland. Third down for Washington. They're up three. They need the first. Tuiasa Sopo is short and injured. Lands hard on that throwing shoulder. He had to go into the locker room to get checked out. He returned after missing only three plays. Tuiasa Sopo said afterward, I was mad. I was like, can you believe this? The Rose Bowl game? Get back in there. Later in the third. Throwing one up for Todd Elstrom. Touchdown, 27-17 Huskies. Tuiasa Sopo, 16 of 22, 138 yards. Purdue tries to answer with Montrell Low, but Montrell Low coughs it up. Washington football, Low with 79 yards Monday, but he was injured on that play and did not return. Ensuing possession, Willie Hurst dive it in after a seven-play, 66-yard drive. 34-17 Huskies. Purdue would get within 34-24. Big third and five here for Washington. Tuiasa Sopo scrambles for 26 in the first, but what are you thinking? <laughs> Lateral to Elstrom. Ashante Woody recovers for the Boilers on their own 49. Purdue can cut it to seven. Travis Dorsch from 42. Newton! Purdue loses in its first Rose Bowl appearance in 34 years. Tuiasa Sopo voted player of the game as Washington ends the season with an eight-game winning streak. Huskies give the Pac-10 its first Rose Bowl win in five years. Rick Neuheisel, as a quarterback with UCLA, he was Rose Bowl MVP in 1984. Now he's won the granddaddy as a head coach with the Gator Bowl be your final game as a collegiate. Virginia Tech and Clemson, first quarter of the Tigers punting. It's a low snap to Jamie Soimani. The Hokies getting the football at Clemson's 23. First play after the turnover, the play action creates an opening for Jared Ferguson, and Vic puts it right there, 23 yards. Hokies up 7-0. There's that word again. Later in the first, third and goal. Vic showing the wheels. Nine carries, 19 yards Monday. It's 14-0 Virginia Tech. Vic's ankle finally 100%. He said afterward, it felt like the old me out there. Early second quarter, Woody Dantzler. He wants Travis Zachary, 23 yards. Tigers get within a touchdown at 14-7. But Zachary broke his foot on this play, did not return, and that really killed Clemson. Then again, so did Vic, who wants the big play from Andre Kendrick, who sneaks behind three Clemson <laughs> defenders. This led to a Lee Suggs touchdown, making a 21-7 Hokies. Third quarter, and look at Vic. Good patience, steps up in the pocket, then hangs a big one up there for Andre Davis, 55 yards. 
Vic, 10 of 18, 205 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Next play, Suggs again. He tied a Gator Bowl record with three rushing touchdowns. Suggs, fifth three TD game of the season, and Frank Beamer's Hokies blow out Clemson. 41-20 in the Gator Bowl. Suggs finishes the season with 30 rushing touchdowns in 12 games. Clemson loses its fifth grade bowl game. As for Michael Vick, Gator Bowl MVP, he's got until January 12th to decide whether or not to leave for the NFL. Bowl final game for senior Anthony Thomas and likely for junior receiver David Terrell. First quarter, Wolverines getting tricky. The flea flicker, Thomas, Henson, Terrell in the end zone, 31 yards, 7-0 Wolverines. Henson Monday, 15 of 20, 294 yards, two touchdowns. Terrell, four catches for 136. Second quarter, we're tied at 14. It's time to get on board the A-train. Bustin tackles for 11 yards, 21-14 Michigan. Thomas, 182 yards, two touchdowns. He becomes Michigan's all-time leading rusher, 4,472 yards, passing Jamie Morris. Fourth quarter, Auburn down 31-21. Ben Lear, Reggie Worthy. Oh, take another look. Reggie Worthy is not worthy. He sprawls out and cannot hang on. Ben Leard, your thoughts. Remember that one. Hey. Later in the fourth, Leard, five for five on an 89-yard drive. He's got DeAndre Green in the back of the end zone, and Auburn is within three. Leard, 28 of 37, a season high, 394. Three touchdowns and two picks. Tigers, they got to go for the onside kick, and here we go. But Ronald Bellamy, he does not have the drops. He holds on. So do the Wolverines. Screw Pug. Michigan wins bowl games in four straight years for the first time ever. Anthony Thomas collects his second Citrus Bowl MVP award. Leard's 394 yards passing and three touchdowns, both Auburn Bowl records. Rudy Johnson, SEC Player of the Year. He was held to 85 yards on 25. Not pleased to be the underdog. That would be Ryan Brewer, a native of Troy, Ohio. He would figure prominently. Brewer taking the pitch, untouched, seven yards for the touchdown. He's filling in for the suspended 1,000-yard rush of the Gamecocks. Have Derek Watson. It's 10-0. Fourth quarter, Phil Petty. Little screen to Brewer. Notice they're wearing Garnett pants for the first time in 30 years with the white top, so I thought I'd just add that. 17-7 Gamecocks. Ohio State, the offense, struggle. Steve Belisari, over the middle, tipped, caught. DeAndre Island, 16-28, two INTs. The Bucks three turnovers. One of two interceptions for Belisari. And there's Mike Doss. You can't do that to our pledges. Only we can do that to our pledges. Look at Brewer. Not a problem. I'll get you back. Three plays later, two-yard touchdown run. 24-7 Gamecocks. That's how it would end. Brewer, 109 yards. And Lou Holtz. It's Florida, but it appears to be umbrella weather. Brewer accounts for 219 all-purpose yards and 18 points. Kid. Ran for more than 7,600 yards in high school in Troy, Ohio, but the Buckeyes didn't even want to recruit him, even though he wanted to go to Columbus. First time in five tries that Holtz beats Ohio State. His bowl record now 11, 8, and 2. We have good speed, but we're also, we, we play pretty physical as well, and we felt this would be a good test for us. Well, I think would help us take a step to the next level. Should be a great send-off for next fall. I know our defense probably one of the best defense in the nation. They proved it tonight. Uh, but today, they just a great team. And uh, I, everything we did today, I, I owe it to them. I owe it to them, my offensive line. But they're great today. Kansas State, Tennessee, and as always, lousy weather in Dallas for the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl. Jonathan Beasley up top, throwing the magic bean to Quincy Morgan, who's a kid. Said he and his buddies used to sneak into the Cotton Bowl and play there. 14-7 Wildcats, you like that. Still second quarter, same score. Beasley, first he's stuffed, and then you got to tackle the ball, and he gets out, and Tennessee thinks they have a turnover. But uh, the official says forward progress will stop Wildcats retain possession of the Magic Bean, third and goal case state. Beasley up top to Morgan, finished with seven catches for 145 yards, 21-7 purple. Later, second quarter, same score, Beasley. Back, uh-oh, tip drill. Jabari Green is there. Jabari Green is running like people are chasing him, and they are, but they will not catch him. Ball's within seven at 21-14. Kansas State, unfazed. Same score, Beasley keeping it. He had 17 carries for 98 yards, 42 of them on this run. 308 total yards later in the drive, Beasley. Little pitch, Josh Scooby. I'm not sure anybody touched Josh Scooby. He had 147 yards rushing, two TDs, 28-14 K-State. 
Bill Snyder. He's moist. K-State rolls up 297 yards on the ground and notches its fourth straight 11-win season. Travis Henry, nice individual effort, 180 yards rushing. Rest of the balls had minus two. And Casey Clawson, 7 of 25, three picks. However, he won't lose his job because... In his 13 years, his Buckeye teams beat hated Michigan just twice. In his 13 years, his Buckeyes were in 11 bowl games, but they won just three of those 11 bowl games. Do the math, and it adds up to a big zero for John Cooper. Fired Tuesday, a day after Ohio State was beaten up 24 to 7 by unranked South Carolina in the Outback Bowl. It's a tough. It's a tough decision. I hope it's. I hope it was a tough decision. I think it. I think uh, Andy indicated it was a tough decision to make. It's not happy. It's not a pleasant situation. I'm not sure that loss of control is, a, is a, uh, just the way I would summarize it, but I, I do think that a change in climate and a change in leadership is, uh, is indicated at this point. I love to beat Michigan every year we played. Everybody would. It's tough. Michigan's got a great program. Uh, same way with the bowl games. There's you know, a lot of people in the Big Ten, including uh, Bo, that doesn't, doesn't have a great record in bowl games. It's tough to go on the road and win like that but uh, certainly we have not done a, as good a job against Michigan and certainly we have done a good job in, again, in the bowl games as we'd like to have done. John Cooper went a combined 5-18-1 and one in bowl games and against rival Michigan. 106-25-3 against everybody else. Cooper's bowl record ranks as the sixth worst for any coach at one school, but he exits Ohio State as the school's second winningest coach. It's not quantity, remember. It's